Hi LEGO fans, it's Brickhead's time again and this time we're back on the Star Wars theme. So far most of the character choices have been somewhat uninspired, and one in particular has been frankly scary. I'm looking at you Chewbacca, but thankfully LEGO has now added two of the more recognisable characters to the Brickhead's collection. Today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building, and reviewing set number 41619 Darth Vader and set number 41620 Stormtrooper from LEGO Brickheads. LEGO has kept us waiting for an absolute eternity for these guys. The Darth Vader Brickhead was first teased back in December 2017. He was pictured as a silhouette on a promotional poster included with set number 41489, the Rey and Kylo Ren twin pack. And finally today we get to build these little beauties with all of their custom printed detail. As Brickheads go, the part counts are pretty much par for the course. Darth Vader weighs in with a pretty paltry 104 pieces, and Stormtrooper comes in with a slightly more respectable 124 pieces. The side of each box shows a visual representation of how these guys looked in the movies. The Stormtrooper Brickhead looks like a pretty faithful recreation, although in blocky form. Darth Vader on the other hand looks a lot more cartoony and really reminds me of the Stewie Griffin version of Darth Vader. You might recognise what I mean if you've seen the Family Guy Star Wars specials. We always get some really nice custom printed pieces with these licensed brickheads. And as you can see on top of the boxes, these are no exception. There's not a lot more to see on the back of the box, but we do get a look at those 6x6 display base plates. I can't wait to get Darth Vader and his crackshot Stormtrooper friend built. So let's open up these boxes and see what we've got inside. Here's everything that came inside both boxes, and just as a reminder, these are sold separately and each one is $9.99. Inside each box we've got two bags of Lego, an instruction booklet, and a 6x6 black base plate. I'm going to go ahead and build Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper, and today this is going to be a 60 second speed build. And here are the completed Darth Vader and Stormtrooper Brickheads. My son completed the Darth Vader build and he built it in 8 minutes and 19 seconds. But he's a bit of a show off and you might want to take your time and enjoy the build. I did just that when I built the Stormtrooper and it took me about 17 minutes. My initial impressions are that Darth and Stormtrooper turned out really well. The only thing I don't like about these characters is that one is black and the other one is white. If you know anything about photography, that makes white balance really difficult to achieve. But thankfully I've got my good friend Prince Harry here who's standing in between shots to help me with spot focusing. He also looks a little bit like Captain Obvious, don't you think? Moving on to Darth Vader, aka Anakin Skywalker, I think this is a brilliant example of Brickhead's design, even though he does rather remind me of Stewie Griffin. This is unmistakably the Sith Lord protagonist from the original Star Wars trilogy, and he looks really sharp, especially with all of those custom printed pieces. Starting at the bottom, Darth is standing on a 6x6 black base plate and has very plain black legs. But then we get some really nice custom elements for Darth Vader's armour. Random fact, the serial number for Darth Vader's armour was E-3778Q-1, and it was designed to maintain and protect the young Anakin Skywalker's charred body after he got a little bit too close to the volcano. Darth Vader's belt, which is printed beautifully here, contains several life support systems. The left system box features a temperature regulation system, and the right system box contains his respiratory sensor matrix, whatever one of those is. The center buckle features an audio enhancement unit built into the electromagnetic clasp of the system status belt. And also included in the belt buckle was a small toolkit, spare energy coil, and backup comlink. 
The chest unit also carries out life support functions and it's another really nice custom printed Lego piece. Darth Vader's helmet makes him one of the most instantly recognisable bad guys of any movie ever produced. And Lego have done a great job of recreating this in Brickhead's form. Darth Vader's helmet also protects Anakin Skywalker's damaged corneas and provides extra sensors to help him see. With enhanced infrared and ultraviolet vision, Darth Vader can actually see in the dark. That must be really useful when he spends most of his time on the dark side. There's another custom printed piece at the top of Darth Vader's helmet. It's a curved element and it really helps to show off those contours. Instead of the usual solar Sprickhead's eyes, we simply have round studs. That looks just right for Darth Vader, but it got me really curious to see how he would look with the normal Brickhead's eyes. In all honesty, that doesn't look as bad as I thought it might. Although it does make him look a little bit like a bad-tempered Shih Tzu. From the side, you can see the true outline of Darth Vader's helmet and the contours of the cape that he's wearing. He has the usual Brickhead's clips for hands. And from the other side, you can see he's holding his trusty red lightsaber with silver handle. A lightsaber, of course, is a plasma blade powered by a kyber crystal. One detail in Darth Vader's helmet that I'm not really pleased about is the contour at the back of the head. Having a flat 2x4 tile followed by a curved piece just doesn't give it enough definition. I can understand the designer's dilemma here because if you use the curved piece at the top, Darth Vader's helmet would probably be a little bit too large for the body. Not that that matters I guess when you're making a Brickhead's build. Set against a white background, viewed from the back, Darth Vader looks particularly menacing. By turning him slightly to the side, we can see more of the detail in his cape. This is pretty much the same build technique you'd see in any of the superhero brickheads. Although clearly Darth Vader is not a superhero. I've been looking forward to reviewing this Darth Vader brickhead ever since I saw the teaser shots back in December 2017. And I've got to say this dark little guy is no disappointment. I think he's really, really good. After reviewing several slightly disappointing LEGO Brickheads and at least one that was frankly terrifying, Darth Vader is a breath of fresh air and I don't think I could have wished for a better Brickheads model. From Darth Vader to one of Darth Vader's minions, we've got one of the Stormtroopers. This guy looks kind of threatening with his blaster but we all know he can't hit anything so we're pretty much safe here. Stormtrooper stands on the same 6x6 base plate and has some really cool armoured legs. These were kind of fiddly to build, but we have some really cool looking armour on the front and on the side of the legs. Just like Darth Vader, we have some really nice custom printing in this Stormtrooper build. Developed by the Imperial Department of Military Research, the Stormtrooper armour was the standard issue among the Imperial Army Stormtrooper Corps. We've got a custom 1x4 printed tile for the Stormtrooper's utility belt, and another custom printed piece showing the breathing apparatus in the helmet. The helmet also features an integrated comm link, audio pickup and two artificial air supply hoses. Similar to the helmet worn by Darth Vader, the Stormtrooper helmet also has a visual processor. This helps the wearer see in darkness, glare and smoke. There's also a built-in heads-up display which is meant to help with targeting, but we have to assume that doesn't work very well. The printed detail continues on the side of the helmet with vents for what I presume must be the respiration system. One feature I really like about the Stormtrooper's helmet is how LEGO put together the lenses for the eyes. This is a really neat trick using two triangular pieces to partially obscure a 1x4 black tile. From the side we get a better look at the blaster and for the first time we can see the thermal detonator attached to the back of the Stormtrooper. We'll come back to that in just a moment. The blaster is a pretty simple build based on a standard LEGO gun and then we've got a cone and a couple of studs to widen the barrel. On the top we've got a 1x1 modified stud with a clip which is presumably there to help the Stormtrooper aim. But we all know how that works out. The other side is pretty much a mirror image except we've got the hand in a relaxed position rather than pointing forwards holding the blaster. We don't always get a lot of detail on the back of a Brickhead's build but this is a good exception. There are two interesting features on the back of the Stormtrooper's armour. First of all we have the backplate identified by the round and the square stud. The backplate covers the emergency air supply and some of the power and electronic equipment inside the suit. The tubular feature you see below the backplate is a custom thermal detonator. Every Stormtrooper has one of these and there's a secret trigger code known only to the individual trooper. So if the Stormtrooper gets into a situation they can't get themselves out of and they need to take out some enemies, they can always blow themselves up using the thermal detonator. I've got to confess, I don't know what the grey 1x1 tiles represent. They probably serve a very useful function, but I just don't know what it is. If you do, please feel free to share in the comments below. We've got ourselves a really nice Stormtrooper build and I'm really impressed with the way LEGO put this together. There are just enough custom printed pieces to pick out the features on the Stormtrooper which make it instantly recognisable. And the designers did a great job with the helmet, even down to simple build techniques like the one to make the lenses. 
So that was set number 41619 Darth Vader and 41620 Stormtrooper from LEGO Brickheads. If like me you were a little bit disappointed by the previous Star Wars Brickheads, then these are most definitely the droids you're looking for. I think the design team have done a great job of recreating two very iconic Star Wars characters. Darth Vader is a very sharp build with some really nice custom printed detail. He might look a little bit cartoony, but I think that really works in this Brickheads format. And again with the Stormtrooper, all of the important details from the original character are there, and this makes a very fine addition to the Star Wars Brickheads collection. If you enjoyed these Star Wars Brickheads, then you might be pleased to know that there are more coming up. Upcoming sets include 41627 Luke Skywalker and Yoda, 41628 Princess Leia Organa, and everybody's favourite bounty hunter, set number 41629, Boba Fett. I hope you enjoyed this LEGO Brickheads unboxing, speed build and review video as much as I did making it. If you did and you're feeling super awesome, please don't forget to drop me a like, feel free to comment in the comment section below, and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe, and may the force be with you!